Hello no one, and welcome back to Dead Estate. Not Dead Estate, just Dead Estate. I don't know where the fuck I was getting the the from. Anyways, as you can see, I managed to reach the exit realm with Diablo. Diablo. Dio. And I actually have, well, just 10 achievements left in the game. Technically, it should be, well, 11, but I kinda fucked up. So, as you can see... <laughs> God, this is gonna look beautiful when it's all ready. But yeah, I only have 10 achievements left in the game. One for getting the true ending with every character, one for unlocking the B costume with Cordelia, which requires that true ending with every character, so, you know. Double whammy. Except not, because it's a triple whammy, because this one is just getting every other medal, so, yeah. Now, I need to get the true ending with every single character, but the problem with that is that I kinda already did with Mumba. <laughs> yeah, I kinda fucked up. The, the B costume for Mumba requires getting to the exit realm with, uh, with, um, um, mama, that's an- I just fucking said it three seconds ago, I couldn't remember that- Oh, fucking- It required getting to the exit realm on painful difficulty with, uh, Mama, and because of the fact that you kinda need to power him way the fuck up in order to actually survive that long. Uh, yeah, I kinda did that and beat Diablo and got the true ending, so... I guess he's done, except not, because I did that on painful. There's actually, well, two other difficulties, that being... Nightmare and X must die. In this case, Jet must die. Now, the thing about this is that I am absolutely fucked. This is... God. Remember back in the first video when I said, Wow, this game is easy. <sighs> that was painful. It holds nothing against Nightmare and definitely not against X must die. But yeah, if you couldn't tell by the name of the video, whatever it's gonna be, I don't know, I haven't thought about it yet. This is a challenge where I must get the true ending with every character on the hardest difficulty. I'm not gonna have a fun time. <laughs> I plan on going down the rows, except I'm gonna skip Cordelia because of the fact that I wanna get the triple whammy achievement at the very end to, you know, 100% the game. That makes sense? I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna also be going with the, uh, because... <laughs> I forget that he just turns into a fucking gnome. Like, I thought he would just change his skin, like, with fucking yeah. jewels. You change it, it goes to that, but no, that's just straight up gnome. Oh yeah, uh, another thing I should mention. We're gonna be doing it with the B costumes for everyone. And I forgot that he had the fucking... We're just, we're not gonna worry about it. We're doing this with B costumes for everyone, and then, I don't know, maybe we'll do another run with Cordelia at the very end. But yeah, for this video, it's just gonna be Gnome Jeff, so... Oh god, let's get into this. Now, the biggest difference between this and any other difficulty, really, is one, the map is gone, and two, Chunks comes after your ass immediately. Hey Chunks, how about you don't? Kill that guy? Yeah? I- what did I fucking say? Hey, 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 Ooh, uh, before I forget, I would like to make one more correction <laughs> for the, uh, upgrades in terms of Dr. Cordelia. Um, yeah, they're different for every single character, and no, I have not gone through every single fucking character to figure out which one gets which upgrades and how much. So, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> I ain't got that much time. Also, that worm is just stuck behind that fucking pot, which is making this really easy, so thank you, worm. Fucking die already. No. Oh god, the worm's unstuck. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't. Fuck, 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 fuck. Die already. Die, you son of a bitch. Jesus fucking Christ, would you die already, Chunks? Oh god, this is probably going to be the most annoying part about this run. <laughs> I'm going to be going after him every single time in the first room because of the fact that one, money, and two, money, three, he, he, I don't want him fucking chasing me. Oh, thank fuck. I want him chasing me every three fucking seconds, so. <laughs> oh yeah, I should probably turn this up, shouldn't I? Alright, what do we got in the shop? A uh, comedy that might be good to get. Bus all in. I think we're going to try to get the comedy first, then maybe the uh, double slurp, slurp, gee, or whatever it's called. <laughs> oh, hey! I didn't realize you were <laughs> That's the worst part about not having the map, the fact that I can't tell what rooms are, like, on the lower level. Because they don't have any design, really. Only the ones on the top levels do, and... Well, that's kind of fucking important when you don't have the map. Oh, hello? That's the secret rooms. I'm not gonna get it. Fuck. Well, failed that. Oh. Actually, it reminded me of a challenge video that I might do at some point, where I have to know what the item will do before I pick it up in order to actually, well, get it. The only downside with that challenge, I feel, is the fact that I can see what the item does if I hover over it, but... Yeah, I could just easily avoid that anyway, so, you know. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, sure. Watch that be the worst mistake in the entire run. Well, I guess if it is, then you can consider me the fool. You know, editing this might actually be a bit of a struggle, because I might just say random shit at times and be like, yeah, that could be included, and then the video comes out to, like, 50 minutes long. 
because I don't shut the fuck up. Because knowing me, I'd probably just fucking include everything. But I know this is going to take a long time, and it's not going to exactly be done in one attempt. At least I highly doubt that. Unless I get really lucky, so. Oh, I just realized with these items, it just turns me into an actor. I wonder what part I'm going to get. Hopefully not the part where I die. Ooh. You know what? Challenge. I have to go with the alternate route every time. Really, if I wanted to beat this challenge, then I wouldn't fucking do that, but, you know. Even more difficulty! Yeah, why did I actually do that? What the fuck am I thinking? Uh, yes, the Dark Boot Woods. I believe this is the first floor every time that you enter the alternate floors. Uh, if not, then it is on- Fuck, 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 fuck! Anyways, as I was saying- Fuck, 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 you know what, fuck you. Anyways, as I was fucking saying, I believe this is the first floor every time you enter the alternate route. Uh, and if not, then it is after the ground floor. Uh, and every other floor will be randomized after that, I believe so. I actually didn't play this game for a bit after the uh, first, or second video, rather. Just because I knew that I was going to enjoy this game way too fucking much. So, I just sort of held off on it and let my want to play the game build. And, um, well, in the span of, like, a week, I managed to get every achievement in the game, except for these 10, which is why I'm doing it. And really, there's no reason for me to do it in a video, but, you know, I, I want to. And that's why this channel exists, because I want to fucking make videos, and the videos I want to make is the videos that I will fucking make. So, you know. Does anybody even understand what the fuck I just said there? <laughs> oh, no. My brother. I don't want to kill you. <laughs> so, I'm just imagining one of the fucking gnomes on this level. Just fucking pulling out a Glock and just fucking firing back. She's like, you betrayed us. Well, I've got the key. Hello, Chunks. And now I just need to make it to the boss room. Whatever the fuck that is. I actually just remembered something I forgot to look at earlier. So, all the characters only have two costumes. Their main costume and then their B costume, obviously. But I was kind of interested in getting more costumes. But that would probably require mods. And, well, the game's kind of small. So, I don't think it's going to have that big of a modding scene. And then I got the idea to possibly just, you know, mod, mod it myself. Um, <laughs> I, I have no idea how to do that. I fucking, that's probably going to require a lot of code. But, you know, I don't, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, this is the Pumpkin Prince. A, I think all the alternate bosses are a bit easier than the ones that are in the main floors. For the simple fact that it's just like, yeah, like, let's be honest here. You'd go through enough trouble with those alone. So let's just make it a slight bit easier with these. But only slightly. There we go. Got the first piece of the key. <laughs> Every single time I manage to get on the exact fucking pixel that is required in order to not get the fucking elevator to go up or for it to flash like fucking crazy. Ooh, another thing about the enemy. So every enemy obviously has their own different speed. But with the difficulties increasing, the amount that they have in terms of matching the character's speed that you're playing as, goes up. So that would mean, like, on the easiest difficulty with Jeff, the worms would be going extremely slow. But on the highest difficulty, they will almost be going, like, maybe three-fourths of your speed? Half your speed? I don't know. But it increases with the uh, difficulty. That's what I'm getting at. That's going to be good. I am kind of debating on if I should actually do looped runs or not. Because, well, this is going to take long enough as is. But the thing about loop runs is that, well, I could become a fucking god again and easily defeat the game. Actually, yeah, because of that, I'm not going to do any loop runs. It must be done in one run. Uh, I... Uh, I don't know how I feel about that, actually. Oh, well, what's done is done, and now I have to live with my own consequences of, well, being alive, really. Alright, what do we got? Uh, we've got some cookies, I will take that, and a vampire chain. Fucking yes. Now I just need to get the item that gives me a higher chance for the chance items to actually work. Wait, hold on. Alright, what do we got in the challenge room? Uh, no pots and a fucking bunny item. This is going to be the absolute worst part about that, like, I must know what the item does challenge. Because there are quite a few of them, and they all look fucking similar and well i'm not gonna remember every single one so like one increases your fucking movement speed one increases your fire rate one increases your damage one increases i think everything maybe okay you know what fuck you the point is there's a lot of bunnies and a lot of them are fucking annoying not for me but you know for the simple fact that i don't remember what they all do 
Oh, this one increases your damage. Yep, butterscotch. All right, that's a weird off-color brown. I guess I should explain my reasoning with uh, Witch Be Gone and why I don't exactly like it that much. Uh, later into the game, if you're doing loop runs, then you kind of get rid of a massive source of your items, so you can't really get any stronger. But that does mean that you get to save up more money in order to actually upgrade your base character. But the problem with that is that that's limited, so, you know, at some point, the items are going to be the only thing that can help you. There's also the simple fact that, well, the witch can heal you, and if I get rid of them, then that's one extra source of healing that I don't have, and I have a lot of money, you know, if I have a lot of money, rather, then, you know, where the fuck am I supposed to spend it? Like, I think it's the item shop that appears on every floor, but the, uh, the doctor doesn't, because I know they don't appear in the laboratory ever. Uh, at least I haven't seen them often in the laboratory, so, you know, they, they might, but, I don't know, I haven't seen them. Now, I haven't really thought about it, but I'm not sure who I'm actually gonna struggle with a lot more with this challenge. Because there's Chef who's basically the middle road, where basically you build them up how you want to have your own playstyle. Uh, there's Jules, which is the heavy-hitting fast style. Uh, Cordelia, with the, uh, which is also heavy-hitting, but short range, and makes up with that with mobility. There's Fuji, who packs a powerful punch, but doesn't use any weapons, and, you know, you have to be up close and personal with every single enemy that you fight. Digby is similar, because they are a melee-only uh, character, but the difference between Digby and Fuji is the fact that Digby can use other weapons, but they all have to be melee weapons, but they all have their own different effects. So, probably going to have a decent time with uh, the cop, whatever the fuck his name is. I'm gonna look that up now. No, I'm not letting this fucking pass. I will know his name. Lewis. That's his name. God damn, I couldn't remember Lewis, for fuck's sake. Anyways, uh, I'm probably going to have the easiest time with Lewis, because he's, well, hard-hitting and slow as fuck, which means the other enemies are gonna also be slow as fuck. I think in terms of the early stage of the run, I might have a harder time with Lydia than anyone else, because all she has is this fucking pepper spray. And, well, that, you know, it's good for fire damage, not good for regular damage, though, because it only does four, so, you know. I'm not entirely sure who is gonna be worse for me in terms of later stage but at the same time every character can be built essentially the same exact way if you get the correct items well except for fuji because she doesn't you know really have any weapons that's actually something that i've not really considered any of the items that i get that uh ascertain to fucking weapons themselves really affect fuji's punches i don't know because i think i got some items that up the fire rate uh, on Fuji, but it was like very minor by the looks of it, so I'm not entirely sure. I have no idea if it's actually possible to kill those ghosts. Oh well. Oh, goddammit, I'm all the way at the beginning? Fuck, where the fuck is the boss room? Like, please, just tell me. You know, I can understand where they're coming from with taking away the map to increase the difficulty of not knowing where the fuck you're going and like where shops and all that are, but at the same time, there's a difference between making it challenging by just making it harder and making it challenging by taking away something that is completely unnecessary to take away. Because the map, it doesn't really do that much. It just, you know, it helps you with exploration and just stops you from wasting like five hours of your life because you're looking around. I, I don't know if you guys understand where I'm coming from, but you know, it's just fucking annoying. Anyways, uh, probably the easiest boss in the game, the Golden Mask. The reason it's easy? Well, it has, like, three attacks. And not, like, three attacks. Well, I guess it technically has a fourth, but, you know. Yeah, uh, this thing, and then blinks, and then you just move up. Yeah. And then the hands go, whoa, and then they start spewing blood because, I don't know, they made a blood pack with, I don't know, probably a fucking pad or something. Then the head just sort of falls down and starts doing nothing, actually. You just sort of shoot it a bit. Then it repeats. Ow. Uh, also, beware. I died once because of the fact that I was standing even slightly close to where the hands were when it activated its uh, a pa pattern where it flashes white and then it starts like getting into the attack. Um, and I died because of that. I don't think the head stays down for a specific amount of time. I think it just stays down there until you do a certain amount of damage and then it goes back up. So I think for every character, no matter what, it takes at least three... Uh, at least three... Um, rounds to kill it so will i be proving it incorrect no i will not yeah i i, I, I get why that's a boss kind of be interesting to go back to the first video and see how much i've gotten better
because I have played this game quite a fucking bit. Uh, I think I've got, like, probably at this point 45 hours in the game. Which, uh, seems the fact that the most played game that I have on Steam, at least, is, like, 100 hours? Yeah, I've definitely sunk a lot of time into this game. <laughs> At some point, I was just going to say, hey, yeah, I should probably show you the tactic that I was talking about. Um, yeah. <laughs> there you go, that's a tactic. Just fucking spam switching weapons because that just fucking resets the uh, timer for the reload. So, you know, you can just, just fucking mow anyone down, really. Fuck, what does this do? I want to say it either might prevent damage or maybe increases my health. That's what I'm thinking of right now. We'll see in uh, 40 seconds if I'm correct. Oh, never mind. It was just 20 seconds. Uh, makes you explode on death. Well, that wasn't exactly correct, but... <laughs> God, if I'm fucking up items that much, that one challenge is definitely going to be a challenge. Literally, all I have to do is avoid hovering over it for, like, one second for me to know what it is instantly. Like, that's it. Oh, man, that's actually going to be a really good challenge. You know what? I'm going to say it now. I'm going to do that challenge at some point. I don't know if it's going to be in the middle of this, uh, I guess, mini-series of 100%ing the game. Uh, but I will eventually do that challenge. So, you have my word on it. I just remembered a game that I've yet to go back to, actually. Uh, its name is Kingsway. It's uh, basically if a operating system was a game itself. Uh, like an RPG sort of deal. And... You know, it, it's interesting, very much interesting, but the problem with it is that you die way too often, I guess? Like, even on the easier difficulty? I don't know, that might just be me problem where I'm fucking shit at games. I might go back to that at some point. Well, actually, no, I definitely will, because I said I will, and I'm a man of my fucking word. I don't know if I'm going to do it anytime soon. That's fucking okay. God, that just reminded me of another pet peeve I have in this game. Like, I love this game. Don't get me wrong. I fucking love it. But there are so many things that I fucking hate about it. <laughs> That's a sign of a game that you know you like. Because you can point out all of its flaws. Anyways, uh, oh yeah. Uh, this is the one fucking enemy that I said might be kind of terrifying. And, well, I'm sure you can see why. I don't think I'm going to go back to Kingsway anytime soon. Because the charm hasn't really, you know, come back to me yet. Uh, and I don't exactly want to play it if I don't want to play it. So, you know, like I said earlier, I make these videos because I want to make them. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be fun. The one game that I would say I played that I didn't want to, but still made a video on, probably Fortnite. But, you know, I was playing that with a friend. Uh, NDXD, you should check him out. He has a video coming soon, hopefully. Uh, he says he does, but he said that in, like, the last five months, so. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I was, I was playing with a friend, so it was definitely a lot more interesting. I'm doing 32 damage against him. I'm assuming 40 against a fucking crawling dude, so... Yeah, 40 against a... He was marked for death. Okay. Never mind. It's fine. 45 hours in the game, and I can't understand basic shit. Uh, slightly increased... Yes. But yeah, every other game that I've played on this channel and made a video of, I have wanted to play it, at, at least at the beginning of it. Like, I have started some series that I just stopped doing because I just wasn't interested in continuing them. Uh... In fact, the first two that popped to mind are the last two that I did, being uh, Gone Home as well as uh, Broken Age. I think that's what it's called. Um, I started doing those series, and I think I got three or four episodes into Broken Age, and then I think it was just two or three, actually. And then I only got two videos into Gone Home. And the reason I stopped doing Gone Home is because I just felt like it was better to do uh, in your own time and go through the story yourself and explore yourself, because... How much you explore depicts on how much you actually, you know, like the story. Um, and also your understanding of it. Uh, and with Broken Age, I thought it'd be interesting at the beginning, and was actually excited to do it, but then it just sort of lost its interest. And is this... Oh god. Okay. So, I've kind of had a problem... Uh, boss room over there, key room over there. Okay. Um, we're gonna explore a bit. And take it slow, because... Well, this fucking floor has given me problems before. Now, this game is pretty simple in the sense that, well, it's 8-bit. Not a lot of processing needs to go into it. Unless you become a fucking god. But, you know, every every other time, it's going to be an easy running game. You don't have to worry about performance. But with this floor, the game has actually crashed on me multiple times. 
I think this might actually be the only part of the game I would actually consider, like, horror. Because, like, just the entire atmosphere of it is off, you know? Like, um, uh, it's, it's become a bit of a thing around the internet. The, uh, I think they're called liminal spaces. Like, the ones where you can look at them and be like, I recognize that place, but you know you've never been there. Like, you get nostalgia for it. Um, like the, uh, back rooms. They're the most popular one, I believe, or at least the one that sort of set that entire, uh, craze about. Like, I've never been to a movie studio or anything like that, but it's just that thing of knowing that people have existed here before. People used to work here, that sort of thing, and now it's completely empty with wires hanging from the ceilings, sets, you know, abandoned, and nobody here. It's just sort of creepy in that sense, you know? Like, just a bunch of boxes around the place, most empty probably, but a lot of them just still here. Like, look at this, this used to be a fucking family room, by the looks of it. And it just, I don't know, it, it has its own weaknesses and strengths, this game, and I think this entire floor is one of them. Well, except for the fact that it makes me crash sometimes. I'll get to that in a second. Someone made a video explaining my feelings, actually. I can't remember their name right now, but... Oh, fuck. It all starts when I pick up this key. Let's hope it works this time. Nope. Well, then, at the same time, though. You see, this isn't actually a real crash. This is the start of something worse. <clears throat> yep, okay, I expected that. It's kind of annoying in that sense, but oh well. So, Chunks, yeah, he gets really fucking powerful when he's like that. Come on, game. Uh, he gets really powerful like this. I don't think you can knock him out, so he's kind of fucking invincible. Uh, credit to the show. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. And, uh, well, he kind of fucking sucks. And so does the rest of this level, because, well, I kind of hate the old reel because it turned everything grayscale, but this does that as a uh, static -y thing around it. And also has this boss. This is probably the most annoying boss for the simple fact that you can't constantly attack it. It's not like the Remnant or the uh, Golden Mask. Like with the Golden Mask, that's just like simple three attack pattern and that's it. With this, you gotta wait until this happens and then you literally just fucking hope that you damage enough in the short amount of time that you have, which I probably don't yet. See, fucking, it's just, yeah, I do like the boss, but you know, the attack pattern and how often I'm able to actually attack them is kind of fucking annoying. Fuck. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, fuck. Okay. 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 Come on. Come on. Oh, then that eye comes out of nowhere and fucking dies. Oh. <laughs> One health. I will survive. I think. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> and just like that, this has now turned into a very horrible challenge. The old set has now been cleared. Though, I kind of have a gripe with this game, and that's the fact that in the achievement list, this is called the Abandoned Set. I don't know why. I don't know why it's different. Okay, so there's gonna be enemies and then chunks. What do we got? Oh, well, this ain't too bad, actually. I say that and die immediately. The other pet peeve I have is with that spiky thing that drops. It's the fact that it's not even slightly transparent, so you lose yourself to the music, no, uh, lose yourself to what's behind it, so, yeah. Well, I'm gonna give this one more attempt, at least right now, because I have to start getting ready for work in a bit, so I'm gonna have to cut it a bit short, but the video won't end there, because I'll probably just continue this run when I get back from work, or I will just, you know, die before then. I want every character to be in their own video, that's sort of what I'm going for. I highly doubt that I'm actually gonna beat it in this, at least the beginning of this run, because I do not have the time. Because it took me like 50 minutes to get to where I was there, and then like, the exit realm is a completely separate floor with its own enemies and all that, that also take a while to kill, and then the boss battle is also like, at least 5 minutes long. So you know, it's, it's gonna take a while. I think now you can understand why I'm doing every character in their own video. <laughs> I was actually considering, like, having a wheel decide which character I went with, but then I realized that that would be just way too fucking annoying. And plus I hadn't set it up at the time, so, you know. I just realized something. I think this is the first game that I've actually played and made three videos on that wasn't a part of a series. Or at least, like, a playthrough. Huh. That's a first. <laughs> what kind of whack-ass bullshit is this? My fucking trumpet does more damage than my gun. You'll never take me alive! Oh my god, I just fucking remember that scene. Uh, blood money. Yeah, alright. Take that. Uh, alright. 
easily two good items to get very early, actually. Uh, yeah, alright. I'll rarely be under 100 bucks, but, you know, when I am, I'll become a god. Well, demigod. Demigod? I've never fucking said demigod like that, ever. What the fuck, B? What is happening with me today? I do not know. <laughs> Imagine what Diablo... Diablo? I fucking completely forgot to look up her name. Imagine what her reaction is gonna be when she fucking sees a gnome walking up with a handgun, just like, what up, bitch? No, I have been actually thinking about other challenges for this game that I could do, but the thing is, though, many of the challenges that I create are either just downright impossible or just too fucking hard to the point where you need the luck of Drain in order to actually, you know, get it. Like, one of the ones that I thought of was only being able to move by using the kickback of a shot, but, like... No, just no. The worst part is I actually considered that for a solid hour. And so I was like, that's a stupid fucking idea. <laughs> I just fucking remembered something that I did while I was preparing for another video. <laughs> Merge. 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 I've come down with a bad case of the oof. I cannot remember which video that was. Oh no. God, I'm gonna have to find that later and hope it's as funny as I fucking remember. I wanna say it was a Deltarun video, but I'm not entirely sure. Actually, no, I just made the video. In fact, I have to export that. Oh, fuck. That's like seven and a half hours. No, like seven hours, and like 48 minutes, something like that. God damn, that's going to be a long export. Although the four hour one that I did of chapter one only took like an hour to export. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see how, you know, how my computer explodes with that one. God, I cannot remember what the fuck that's from. And it sucks because I remember at the time, it was really fucking funny to me. I never remember it now, and it's still fucking funny to me. God, what is it from? Alright, so I remember what it's from. It's not one of the gaming videos that I did, but actually one of the thumbnail creation videos that I did. One of the two of them. <laughs> it's one of them. I can't remember which one, but it's funny. Uh, how is that 500 fucking dollars? That is 100 bucks. Like, I... Oh. Uh, I think you increased damage? I'm not entirely sure. There's so many different items that all increase damage. Alright, what do you do? You take damage when they touch you. Well, I mean, technically it increases damage. I wonder if the people who made this game have, like, some sort of tracker that keeps count of how much money you spent, like, buying upgrades and items from Cordelia and how rich she gets from this game. Also, if you're wondering why I'm doing this, it just increases the speed a little bit faster because, you know, the gun has kicked back every time you fire. Just a little bit, but, you know, it adds up over time. My fucking try hard? Well, I guess I do have to at this difficulty. <laughs> now, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I actually really like the music in this game. It's not like epic hype levels or whatever the fuck, but, you know, it's still pretty good. Alright, finally defeated that boss, but since the fact that I have to get ready for work in like four minutes, I shall leave this off here, but I will be picking it up right about now. Ah, the power of editing. Anyways, what was I doing? Dying? Yeah, it sounded about right. So for you guys, it's been like... I don't know, maybe three milliseconds? For me, it's been like eight hours, so <laughs> if I seem a bit worse than I was somehow earlier, uh, then yeah, that's why. Yeah, uh, that's definitely the reason. <sighs> well, I did say that it sounded about right. Once more. Into the fucking nightmare this is. That's it, numero tres, that's it. It took two years of Spanish and I couldn't remember the number three. God damn it. Final fucking lead. How long does that take? Oh my. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Okay. So, that's a really good item to get this early into the run. And there we go. Nearly lost it there. There have actually been items where I've lost an item due to the fact that I killed an enemy like 0.2 seconds after the timer ran out. Which is why I find that two second drop off at the beginning of the challenge room to be so fucking annoying. Because it has fucked me over many a time. Mm, eh, it's early in the run. By two? Okay, I'll take it. But now I move quite literally like a snail. Okay, that's. that's. Oh my fucking god. Okay. Save up the money, save up the money. <laughs> you know, you'd probably expect that with the amount of time I put into this game already, I would actually be quite decent at it. Nah. Okay, so you know that whole thing about the uh, extra costumes possibly being added in? Well, when I was doing this, the only thing I could imagine was fucking Mario just doing the back jumps up the fucking stairs. Oh, that'd be a glorious skin for Jeff. Someday, someday I will actually start modding games, and... Well, I might start with this one. Well, it depends on if I actually have the time or not, because, well, I'm very limited on that right now, so... You know, 
it's not bad. Okay, so I obviously don't have enough to get both, but I would say getting mitosis would be better for the simple fact that one, it's cheaper, but also two, this is going to always happen, but this is just going to happen at the beginning of a room. So, yeah. Okay, so I got 200 after that boss battle. With the destroyed weapon, I now have 270. Well, it was a lot closer than I thought it'd be, but, you know, still not enough. But that's a fucking useless tip. He spawns immediately. <laughs> Alright, what do we got with this? Negate damage, and I think that's... Uh, yeah. Careful with this one. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate that. Alright. First floor done. Well, technically the second, but let's be honest here. Eh, I don't know where I'm going with this bit. After eight hours of work, I am officially fucking drained. Especially after a specific person. <gasps> yes! Finally! Fuck you. Okay. I guess I'm just getting extremely lucky with the challenge rooms today. Or at least with this run. Which could end at any moment. <gasps> Probably not gonna be any time soon, though. I'm fucked, aren't I? Oh, shit. Okay, so this one's going to be close. Come on. Yes, 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 yes! Yes! Oh boy, I have all this money and I have yet to reach a shopkeeper. What shall I? You know, fuck you. You interrupted me during my bit. I ain't doing it anymore. Shush! Shopkeeper! I mean. Oh, that bullshit. So the only reason that I took damage there was because of the fact that the game lagged the slightest bit when the fucking fight ended, which was the exact moment when I jumped, thus rendering my jump useless and unregistered, leading to me actually taking that damage. I call bullshit. Well, I say that, but it's not exactly the end of the run, really, because I got 10 health left, so, you know, I think I'll be good for a bit. So I guess I'm going to make an end video correction about the thing that I said earlier. I don't think any of the uh, alternate floors are randomized. I think it's just depending on which floor you actually enter the all floors on, so. Anyways, don't mind me. Just going to have to shoot chunks for, like, 50 years. Oh, hey. It only took 49. Nice. Now, I'm not going to say that this might be the run, but... <laughs> Sure is looking like that with these fucking items. It doesn't look like it's on the eye. It looks like it's on the, like, eyebrow ridge. If that's the case, then that's some incredible fucking balance work. Jesus. Anyways, time to kill this guy again. And he's dead. Blood must atone for blood. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> you can't say just random shit and expect that to have any meaning. Fuck you. You're supposed to only do one jump, motherfuck. Why? That is the most annoying motherfucker in this entire game, I swear. I love this game. I love it so. But God, does it cause me so much pain. Holy shit, I've already been recording for 45 minutes now. That... What? Last time I looked over there, it was only 7 minutes. What the fuck happened to the time? Oh, fuck. So, as I kill this fool, I just wanted to talk about one little thing. A while ago, I would make videos where I would just read... Well, SCP file entries, and, well, I stopped doing that because I couldn't really think of a way to make it, like, my content, really. Or at least, like, 50% my content, 50%, you know, the SCP Foundation. Well, I still haven't found a way to do that, but I kind of am just interested in bringing that back again, because, well, I fucking want to. <laughs> I like reading the SCP file entries, and I just like making those videos, and seeing what I can do in order to actually make them a bit more interesting visually, I guess. Do you see what I can do? And what I can source myself in terms of my editing abilities. But I can't worry about that right now. I'm not going to take that actually, because I'm very close to the end of the run. If I want to heal myself, I will have to have the witch. I, well, I'm not taking either of those items, because the other one is shit. Is this the key? Yes. Okay. Not taking this anytime soon. <laughs> I need to figure out where I'm going. Well, this is just an empty room. That's the most terrifying room in this entire fucking floor. <laughs> it's just completely empty. <laughs> Alright. Game. Don't fuck me over with this. Come on, come on. No, no, no. Okay, I'm going away from the door. Yep, expected that. I would honestly be interested to see if there was anyone that was able to actually knock out chunks in this form. Because I don't know if he can. Because this is pretty much Ultra Instinct for him, so. 
Oh yeah, I just realized everything's fucking grayscale in this, so I won't be able to sell if I'm in the right, uh, white, right room or not. Why the fuck do I struggle with my R's and W's so much? Uh, well, I don't think it was that one. Was it this one? Yes. Okay. Top. Top. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. And this is the boss room? Boss room? Yes, yes, yes. Fuck you, Shunks. I fucking thought I got caught on the corner. Okay. Now it's time for this fuck. Motherfucker sounded like the Modern Warfare grenade launcher. Oh, hello. They're black instead of static -y. That's... Okay. What causes that? Oh, Moss. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, thank fuck. I have no idea how close it was to just fucking going to the next cycle, but holy shit. Okay. Pretty good health. Pretty good items. Pretty good damage. I'm pretty confident in saying that this might be the run. <laughs> just two more flows to go. Then chunks, and then one more flow to go, then the final boss battle. Okay, so there's still quite a bit left to go. I uh, don't have any of that, and... Okay, well, I'm not Jules, okay? I'm just Jeff. I don't understand how I did take damage there, but I'm not going to question it. I just realized, I don't remember what the boss on the fourth alt room is. Or what even the fourth alt room is in general. Well, I guess I will be enlightened. Now! Oh yeah, this place, okay. The first time I actually managed to knock Chunks out, I got extremely fucking lucky. Because of the fact that he like glitched out while he was trying to change directions and he just went like the entire time so yeah uh let's just say that the first time was a bit easy oh god this enemy i have no idea how to actually defeat them like i think i attacked the white bits on them but like i'm never able to really get a consistent fucking angle on it for some reason so uh, there is that good yeah yeah i just had an idea for an item the general idea is just genie in a bottle, where you can wish to upgrade anything of your choice. It could be health, speed, damage, fire rate, anything. What in the fuck just happened there? <laughs> because it fucking spawned in the door. Did it take infinite damage because of the fact that I had to be there? That, okay, thank fuck the game has a defense system against that. Because if it didn't, I would be pissed. What? You're not supposed to be out there, get the fuck back here! So we dealt with the pumpkin, we've dealt with the golden mask, we've dealt with the chapter 3 of Deltarune, and now we have to deal with the Kraken. And the key is complete. Now, we head to our destiny. And also maybe the shop to heal up, because that'd probably be a good idea. Now what do we got in these chests? I will take that, and plus 2 HP. I don't think I need that anymore, game. <laughs> I will take that, and I will take that, absolutely. And the Ambrosia. We have the antidote, we have the elevator, we got a gun, and a hammer. What could possibly go wrong? You're a foe, buddy. I will absolutely take that. Oof. Let's get this over with. Lockdown initiated. Set to start sequence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> I don't know anymore. I'm fucking tired, man. how much easier he was when you have the fucking antidote. <laughs> okay. Alright. <laughs> I was expecting that to take a solid like 30 seconds, but no, it just... <laughs> it took a second. That was it. It just took a second. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. Anyways, with Chunks left behind as a regular mouse now, we are off to the exit realm. So, for those of you that haven't been to the exit realm before, one, welcome to hell, you'll find your complimentary fuck yous on the left. But also, we have one simple goal, and that's to press three buttons that lead to this hole right here, that will open it up and lead us to the final boss, being Diablo, Diablo, whatever it is. I still haven't fucking bothered trying to look that up. Ah, here's one of the buttons. Simple as that. Oh, there's a challenge room? I... Do I want to bother with this? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> why not try to fuck it all up at the end? I'm sure this will go swimmingly. Okay, so it went better than I thought it would. Oh, second button. There we go. And third. Well, okay. I was expecting them to be back to back. Side to side in that case, but no. Oh. Hello, Cordelia. Yeah, she's here as well. Chris Crown. 
Yes. Hey, Pew. Don't have a shotgun. No. Fuck. You. No, I don't see any point in just hanging out here any longer. Let us head down the hole to face Dio. Yeah, joke's on you. This entire game is just JoJo's reference. Alright, here we are. Finally at the end. Sacrificial grants. So, what are we sacrificing? Well, you know, just a normal, everyday, you know, person. Although, I guess in this case, it's a scientist. A witch scientist? Hey, where the fuck are you going? Get back here, you bastard! Hey, 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 hey! I know I'm slow, but you ain't gonna make fun of me. What the fuck? That was one intense orgy, huh? <laughs> Anyways, jokes aside, we have one final boss, and, um, I think I'll be good. Diavola, that's your name. We have confirmation! Okay. I'm not entirely sure how I'll do this final boss fight. I wish in terms of editing, because it's, well, it's not that part, really. You just learn the attack patterns and learn that, well, when she's doing that, well, she's either going to circle around you or just come at you multiple times, and it's kind of annoying. You just gotta find the person there. She'll teleport, start coming at you, and then you just gotta make sure that you keep moving and hope that you're not moving in the direction that she's coming from or else you're fucked. But other than that, it's fine. Then she does this muscle thing that I think is supposed to add damage to that attack, but it's very simple to dodge. Then she does this, like, star thing where, you know, probably just to rip off a fucking tail. I mean, everybody wants to rip off a fucking tail. Even Toby Fox wants to rip off a fucking tail. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this bit. I'm just fucking finally happy to have this entire run done with. Oh, fuck you. Fuck. Oh no, my perfect run. What shall I ever do? Alright, Alan. There we go. Alright, boss defeated. We can now finally go home. Father, come on down. Why is the game lagging so much? Well, goddamn. I don't remember that scream. And that scream? Not gonna lie. Actually terrifying. Huh. Well, now what do I do? Oh, hello. Um. Nice to meet you. Hey, you fan puns? What are you doing? What? What's with all the teeth? Oh, hello. Um. You're looking ugly. Bit peckish? Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Alright, well... <laughs> yeah, this is the final boss. It's two stages. Oh, Jesus. Now, the thing about this boss is that you can't just damage it at all times. You gotta wait for the eye to come down. And I'm actually, like, 90% sure that it's pretty fucking resistant, if not completely resistant, to explosion damage. Because I remember in one run, I had a grenade launcher replace my uh, main weapon. And it didn't do anything. Was, was that it? I... I thought that was gonna be way fucking harder. Are, are you kidding me? That was it? What? I... Huh? Well, with Cordelia, Father, and Gnome fucking riding off into the sunset, I shall leave you off here. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next video whenever and whatever that shall be. See you! It's different for every character, but I didn't realize that they did it differently for the B costumes. <laughs> That's just fucking funny. You can't fight me on that one. Okay, so if you didn't think it was a JoJo reference earlier, now what the fuck do you think? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I never questioned this, but is Mamba a part of their family? What? I... Who... Who's Mamba? Oh god, what's the backstory? <laughs>